Environmental Lights offers a variety of connectors that eliminate the need for soldering and can be used for virtually any LED lighting application. Whether you are connecting your LED lighting together, to power, or to a controller or decoder, we've got a connector that will suit your needs. When working with LED strip light, connectors can be ribbon to ribbon for splicing, or they can be ribbon to cable or ribbon to plug for connecting your lighting to a power supply or controller. We offer our strip connectors in clip-on and fold-over varieties. Both options are convenient and easy-to-use solutions that save you the hassle of dealing with soldering. We have strip connectors for monochrome or white strip light, white adjustable strip light, RGB strip light, and RGB Color Plus strip light. Additionally, we have handy connectors for our waterproof neon and waterproof super flat. Keep in mind some important things about connectors. 1. Connectors cannot handle infinite current. This is why we do not have connectors for some strip. Although there are no specific current ratings for industry standard clip-on or fold-over strip connectors, we recommend staying below 4 amps or 60 watts, whichever is greater. 2. Fold-over strip connectors require more open space on the top of the strip than clip-on connectors. For that reason, strip with LEDs very close to the cut lines cannot use fold-over connectors, even if the strip width is appropriate. If in doubt about what connectors can be used with a particular LED strip, please consult the accessories list for that strip on our website. 3. Soldered connections are more solid mechanically and can carry more current than most clip-on or fold-over connectors for strip. For your reference, we have a video on how to solder to LED strip light. The key thing to remember when soldering is that if you apply too much heat for too long, you will destroy the LED or LEDs nearest the solder point. Soldering takes a bit of skill and time, but it may be your best choice if you're using high currents or cannot accept the added bulk of a connector. 4. The wires on our strip connectors are relatively thin because people value the convenience in tight spaces. Again, for high current applications, you'll need to pay attention to voltage drop. If the wires are getting hot, or if any charring occurs near the connectors, you are putting too much current through the connection and need to address it in your layout. You can call us to discuss this, or take a look at our four-part video series on lighting design. 5. Our connectors are used on a wide variety of strip, and the thickness of the circuit boards may vary depending on the design of the strip. If your clip-on connector is loose, you can shim the back of the strip with a neat rectangle of masking tape that will make the strip thicker and cause the connector to hold fast. 6. Pay attention to the wiring on the circuit board and don't simply follow the wire color of the connector. For example, the RGB connectors we provide will have wire colors matching the strip on one end of the strip, but will be backwards on the other end. You can use them on the other end, but you will have to remember that the wire colors don't match the strip. 7. Most strip connectors can be installed upside down, in which case they won't work. Pay attention to the pictures and or instructions we provide. 8. If you waterproof your connection, it will only be as waterproof as your technique makes it. Water incursion into the strip will ruin it. Be sure to watch our video on how to waterproof your strip light if you are using connectors. If you have any questions about which connectors are right for your LED lighting project or how to use them, give us a call. We'd love to help you out.